Hello everybody, I am Nico, IV3 and WV. In this movie uh, we will show the effect of the uh, coupling of the ADC uh, output bus uh, in respect to intermodulation tones. Uh, I apologize uh, for in advance for the errors I will uh, make in English but you know my mother language is uh, Italian and uh, so I hope that you will accept my errors. Uh, okay, uh, as you know, um, in one paper, uh, Leaf dem demonstrated that uh, uh, there could be a problem with uh, uh, intermodulations uh, of uh, wideband sampling receivers just because uh, some uh, feedback and coupling from the uh, uh, bus, uh, from the output bus of an ADC, couples back to the ADC input. Uh, uh, since uh, uh, the digital uh, lines uh, contains a lot of um, harmonics and uh, uh, sparse signals, uh, these uh, in, can generate uh, IMD tones in the ADC. Uh, now, Perseus is uh, quite different, uh, as also Lee pointed out, uh, because the uh, digital output of the ADC are scrambled. Uh, you may give a look to the uh, uh, LTC2206 ADC to discover how uh, they are scrambled. Uh, now uh, we will show uh, what we got from uh, the same test that Leaf made with the SDR14 uh, 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 with Perseus. So, uh, as you can see here, uh, is the uh, instrument setup. There are two generators, they are the two HP8640 uh, signal generators, uh, which uh, generates two carriers, one at uh, 14.255 uh, megahertz, and the second one at uh, 14.243 uh, uh, megahertz. The two uh, generators are coupled by means of an hybrid coupler, uh, which I uh, designed some time ago. The output level is not very high, it's about minus 30 dBm, uh, just because we want to demonstrate uh, what to look at the uh, IMD tones generated by the ADC and not uh, those generated by uh, the preamplifier. Um, now, uh, here is the spectrum uh, observed with the Perseus software. As you can see, you see the two tones and uh, you cannot see any IMD uh, tone just because uh, they are uh, almost at the noise floor level. Now, uh, we pick it up uh, 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 mm, the signal coming out from uh, uh, the ADC output bus, uh, just uh, one line of them. Uh, and uh, as we can see here in the spectrum analyzer, uh, you can see the two-tone uh, uh, test signal uh, which feed the Perseus. We use just a, a, um, a scope uh, probe, so uh, as you can see the signal-to-noise uh, ratio is not very high, as uh, uh, this is a one mega -ohm probe. Uh, um, the upper trace is the spectrum of what we uh, pick it up from one of the uh, lines of the uh, bus, uh, the output bus of the AD converter. As you can see, the, uh, um, the spectrum is just flat without any uh, spectrum line contents. And this is because the data uh, is scrambled. Uh, in the, uh, in this trace uh, on the, uh, of the oscilloscope, we can see uh, the signal uh, coming out fr uh, from one of the um, lines of the uh, ADC bus. Uh, as you can see, uh, the pattern is very irregular uh, due to the uh, scrambling, which is done with the least significant bit of the ADC output. Now, uh, now we can uh, show uh, the effect uh, when we try and we increase the coupling um, 
uh, from the uh, ADC uh, output bus to the Perseus input, uh, simply probing one of the lines. And as you uh, will see now, I'm picking now, I'm picking just one line. Okay, I've done it. And now maybe you can listen to the effect uh, and also see it. Now the um, uh, I'm probing one of the lines, and now I'm not probing it. Okay, you have seen. What we uh, saw uh, is just that noise floor decreased. And when I probe one line, let me, let me probe it. Okay, uh, as you can see, just the noise floor has increased, and of course the noise pick it up in the filter bandwidth. Okay, that's all. I hope that this movie uh, enjoyed everybody. 73, bye-bye.